Please be seated. Easy. Well, Brooke, and ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon and welcome to the White House. We've gathered today to bestow an honor upon a woman we all know and admire, Brooke Astor. I'll read a citation in just a moment, but that citation is awfully official sounding, and uh, I'd like to add a personal note. You see, Brooke is a friend of ours. Nancy's known Brooke since, she was, since Nancy was 14. I've known Brooke for a good many years. There's no way a document can capture the, her wit, her warmth, no way express her energy and her extraordinary vitality. But, and Brooke, there's just no way that Nancy and I can ever thank you enough for all the wonderful moments that you've given us. And now, you are here with me at the podium and your country wishes to honor you. Therefore, I shall read a citation, a citation for the Citizen's Medal. Her philanthropies have extended from Carnegie Hall to the Bronx Zoo. She has made the New York Public Library her special project, overseeing a renaissance of that venerable and magnificent institution. She has written two volumes of autobiography and a number of splendid, witty novels. And to all who know her, she's a joy. And if Brooke Astor feels that she has become a public monument, it is a credit to the public for making her one. Well, that's it. And now, <laughs> the presentation of the Citizens Medal. Oh, look. Oh, thank you, Mr. President. Well, this I'm overcome. Well, congratulations and God bless you. I wear this. <laughs> Any time. Do I wear it at a big party and fit it on? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, oh, you can. That it's that yours. Right? That isn't showing off. No, it's yours. <laughs> yeah. You earned and deserve it. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. All right, so much. and there's a little button that shows if you choose oh, that you are button. the possessor yes. of that. Yes, yes. The button. Yes. Wear it anyway. That's what right. I'm doing. All right. <laughs> thank you so much for this. Well, honor. now we shall all adjourn to the to the uh, Red Room, which is right next door. Gorbachev was very happy with yeah. it. now really disturb the peace process. More than ever.